Let's have a word of prayer before we get started, before you sit down. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you so much, Lord Jesus, for the privilege we have of being right here today. Father, we thank you for this precious couple that chooses to do everything right and honor you, Heavenly Father. And that's what we want to do today. So, Father, may everything that's said, everything that's done, may it magnify you and lift you up, Lord Jesus, because if it were not for you, none of us would be here. So right now we ask you to bless Brandon, bless Noel, lead God and direct him, and Heavenly Father, may everything that's said and done, may it magnify and lift you up, because it's in thy precious name we ask it. Amen and amen. All right, I want y'all to stand right there and uh, look at each other. <laughs> Don't look at me now, okay? <laughs> All right. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here together in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together Brandon and Noel in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying unto us the mystical union which exists between Christ and His church. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate these two persons come now to be joined. If anyone can show just cause, may, while they may not be fully joined together, let them speak now or else forever hereafter hold their peace. Brandon and Noel, I require and charge you both as you stand in the presence of God before whom the secret of all hearts are disclosed that having duly considered the holy covenant you are about to make, you do now declare before this company your pledge of faith each to the other. Be well assured that if these solemn vows are kept as God's words demands and honor your heavenly Father, God will grant your marriage and give you fulfillment in it and establish your home in peace. You notice I said covenant, holy covenant. Uh, how does a covenant differ from a contract? A covenant is based on trust between two parties. A contract is based on distrust. A covenant is based on unlimited responsibilities a contract is based on limited liabilities. A covenant cannot be broken if new circumstances occur. A contract can be voided by mutual consent. We entered into a holy covenant, not a contract. So that's what we're putting you all in today. So you can't get out of this one, all right? All right. All right. Brandon, will I have this woman to be thy wedded wife? to live together in the holy state of matrimony. With our love, her, comfort her, honor, keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep the only unto her, so long as you both shall live. I do. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> all right. I will. Noel, will thou have this man to be thy wedded husband, to live together in the holy state of matrimony. Will thou love him, comfort him, honor, keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, Keep the only unto him, so long as you both shall live. Amen. Now, I suppose I ask who presents this woman to be married to this man? What's your son at? Can you holler okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All righty. All right. I want you to do me a favor. Take each, take it by both hands, okay? Now, the right hand always signifies power. That's why you're on the right hand side. When we get married, you'll be noticing I'll be saying right hand and all in place and all that. So that means power. And that's why responsibility is transferred. Well, that's why I asked who giveth this woman to be married. The daddy always gives it right places your, her hand in your right hand, signifying that that releases him from all responsibility for Noel. It's completely on you now, okay? All right. Now I want you to repeat after me. I, Brandon, I, Brandon, take thee, Noel, take thee, Noel, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this 
stay poor. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poorer. For poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. There too. I pledge thee, I pledge thee my, faith. my faith. All right, Noel, repeat after me. I know well. I know well. Take thee, Brandon. Take thee, Brandon. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poorer. For poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Death do us part. According, to According to God's holy ordinance. God's holy ordinance. And, thereto, and thereto I pledge thee my faith. I pledge thee my faith. Amen and amen. Now I want to say just a word about the wedding ring. But first, I'm going to have to back up and sit down. <laughs> and I've got to be... And I got to be an old man. <laughs> Didn't want to, but let me have her ring. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. All right, you got it. Mm -hmm. You know, we uh, we think of the wedding ring as just uh, just something that will look good on the finger, and it will will uh, make everybody know that we're married. But that's not what it is. Uh, this this ring, uh oh, before it was made, had to go through the hottest fire, the hottest test, and you notice that's one circle, one piece, no end to it. It's completely round. Now that's the way y'all's marriage is going to be. It's going to go through the hottest tests. This world don't want you to be married. It don't, it wants you to do everything it can to tear you down. But I want you to notice that that's one perfect circle. Nothing can end it. When y'all came into this place today, you came in as two separate people. When you leave this place today, you'll be as one. Just as that is one, one piece, one circle. You'll be as one. Noel chooses to give up her last name and take on your last name. That will make y'all one together in the Lord Jesus Christ. And you know, that's something that people just don't understand. When you, when you, after you get married and all, uh, it's not 50-50. It's 175 and 175. Mm -hmm. If y'all make it, this world don't want you to. But I believe with God's help, you're going to make it because you're putting your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. So I want you to, I want you to, to do with me now. And uh, I want you to take this ring, take it, and uh, slip it on her right hand. Left hand, excuse me. You right. <laughs> oh, Lord. So I told you I'm getting old. <laughs> and I want you to repeat after me. Look at her. Don't look at me. Just look at her and repeat after me. In token and pledge, in token and pledge of, our constant faith of our constant faith and abiding love, abiding love with, this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. In, the name of the Father, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the, Son, and of the, Holy, Spirit. the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alright. Where's, where's his ring? Alright. I want you to I want you to take this, Noel, mm -hmm. and slip it on his, put it on his finger. And you can't take it off. Ah, oh, yes, sir. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. And repeat after me. Hold it there. Hold it there and repeat after me. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. My constant faith. Oh, and one. abiding love. All right, just wait. Just yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. You'll be all right, buddy. Just one minute. Now, now you got the puppy that's still down there, but that's all right. All right, repeat out to me, Noel. In token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love, with this ring, I thee wed. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. 
You know, for as much as Brandon and Noel have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company and thereto have pledged their faith each to the other and have declared the same by joining hands and giving and receiving rings, I pronounce they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together that no man put asunder. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, thank you so much for this couple. Thank you for their love for you and love for each other. And Heavenly Father, we do right now pray that you'll touch their hearts, you'll encourage them, you'll lift them up, you'll let their light shine so others can see Christ in them. And Heavenly Father, they'll be a witness and a testimony for you. So Heavenly Father, right now, bless them. And we'll praise you for every single thing. In their name we ask it. Amen and amen. Now you know, the only thing y'all will remember about this wedding is that little boy coming up here bothering Mama. And that's something to remember, isn't it? It really is. And we praise the Lord for it. Turn around. Look at everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Charles Brandon Hall. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> I knew that's what she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank y'all.